Hey guys, if you want to dominate in Madden 18, head on over to Madden247.com where you can pick up the full access guide to Madden 18 and any ebooks. This is the best content that you're going to find anywhere and it's more than half off other websites. And if you want to support me directly, head on over to Patreon.com where not only are you going to be getting the best content, but you're also going to be entered into giveaways. So if you're interested, head on over to the links in the description below. What's up guys, we are back today to go over the new installment uh, patch update that has been released. Uh, and I'm just going to go over the gameplay stuff, uh, not the franchise or the stuff where the, the Pittsburgh Steelers tiles were gray or black. I'm not really interested in that. But uh, gameplay wise, you see it says zone coverage is tuning to increase break on throw times, which is good because uh, some of the safeties or corners, uh, they don't break on the ball fast enough, I've noticed this year. Zones uh, have actually been broken uh, since release date, uh, and everyone knows that. Uh, but the uh, the tuning to decrease effectiveness on ball carrier special moves. So I don't know if that means uh, speed backs are going to be bad again, or you know it might be back to power backs. Uh, I thought they were fine. Uh, I didn't think they were overpowered if you used them correctly. Um, but as of right now, just reading that, I think it means that speed backs uh, or juking backs are probably dead uh, as of now. But we have to see. Um, we have to see a little bit tested in the game. Next, we have fixed fixed issue for the coaching, and that, I never really seen that, so that's not really a big issue gameplay wise. Uh, tuning to increase block sheds. Tuning to increase block sheds. I repeat, in run defense first gun inside zone now what i hope that means is like against gun monster or something like that um not against regular inside zones because uh no one needs that if that's the case that means we're not going to be able to run the ball at all again this year last year we couldn't do it because block sheds were op uh this year uh if they're they were fine i feel inside zone was not overpowered but since they increased block shed on inside zones that's a weird thing to say i'm, I'm hoping it does just mean like gun monster next one is tuning the uh slightly increase the pass rush when qb holds onto the ball for longer times in the pocket now i hope this does not mean if they only rush two people because if that's the case welcome back to a two-man rush um to get pressure on the quarterback it's been fine if they if they rush two or less i've noticed that i've not been getting sacked which is great because you should not be able to rush to block five or six uh, and then still get a sack from one of the D linemen. So I do not like those those two updates at all. I feel like it's taking a step back towards Madden 17 with that. Because those were the issues with Madden 17 was the block sheds on the run game. And two man rushes were able to get to the quarterback uh, with no problem. And then the last thing says fix the issue with sideline. The character's not reacting. That's who cares about that one. Uh, the two main ones are the... The increased block sheds and increase pass rush block sheds. Um, we're gonna test that out in game, see how that is. Hopefully, we don't take a step back towards Madden 17 with the uh, overpower block sheds uh, in the pass game and in the run game. So, I just want to make a quick update on that patch that was released this morning. Um, if you did like the video, make sure to like, comment, and share. Subscribe to the channel. And you can check out Madden247.com where you can get the full access guide. The Green Bay Packers Cheesehead Offense is coming out this weekend. Um, so if you're a full access member or offensive member, you will receive that ebook. And if you want to support me directly, for only $5 a month, you get all the ebooks and tips every single week. Uh, head on over to patreon.com slash maddenhelp.